TP-Link Festa is designed specifically for small businesses, home offices, and prosumer. With Festa cloud-based controller, you can control Festa gateways, switches, and APs easily, benefiting from quicker business responses with our streamlined cloud solution. Here we will introduce how to configure an entire network with TP-Link Festa products via the Festa cloud-based controller. As an example, we're going to set up the wireless network for a coffee shop. A typical scenario of the Festa network solution, we use Festa F4205 as the gateway, Festa FS308 GP as the PoE switch, and Festa F61 as the access point all of which will be managed on the Festa CBC. To build the network, we connect the one port of the gateway to the internet and the LAN port to the PoE switch. Then we connect the Festa AP to the PoE switch. In the coffee shop scenario, the network is shared by the owner, staff, and customers. To enhance security, we want to divide the LAN network into different VLANs and limit the network access of different clients. Here are the specific requirements. One. The owner should have a full access to the entire network. 2. The staff can access the internet without rate limit, but cannot access the core network. 3. Customers can access the internet with rate limit and cannot reach the core network or any private IP subnet. To meet these requirements, here are the steps we will take to set up the devices and configure the network. Step 1. Log into the Festa cloud-based controller. To manage the network via Festa CBC, go to the web portal of Festa Cloud and create a TP-Link ID. Log into Festa Cloud. Click Add Controller or to register for a new cloud-based controller. For first-time user, it is recommended to follow the wizard to set up the controller. Now our controller and site have been successfully configured and you will have an overview of the controller which will provide you with a basic understanding of the Festa controller. Step 2. Adopt devices. Before adopting devices, make sure all Festa devices have access to the internet. Go to devices and click at devices. Enter the SN of each device. If you have a large number of devices, use import to adopt devices in batches. Click confirm. Wait for a while and the devices will be successfully adopted by the controller. Step 3. View Dashboard and Menus After adopting the devices, let us see what information we can check on the controller's dashboard and menus. Go to Dashboard. Here we can see the devices connected, the most active EAPs, SSIDs and clients, and alerts. In Map, we can view the topology of the network. In Clients and the Insights page, we can check the wired and wireless clients connected to the network and can get information about past portal authorization and VPN status. Here are the logs page and also tools like Network Check and Terminal to monitor and analyze the network. Step 4. Set up VLANs. Go to Settings Wired Network Plan. Here we have a default LAN VLAN 1 which represents the core network. We can simply keep the default settings based on the network deployment requirements. We also need additional VLANs to separate the staff and the customer networks from the core network. For example, we will create VLAN 10 for the staff and VLAN 20 for customers. Click Create New LAN. Specify the name for the VLAN. Select Interface for purpose as we will create an interface for this VLAN. Select all the LAN ports on the gateway, which should belong to the VLAN. Set the VLAN ID as VLAN 10, the gateway subnet, and click Update DHCP range. We will then get the IP range for this VLAN. Other settings can be kept by default or configured based on your own needs. Click Save. We can create VLAN 20 through the same process. Step 5. Set up Wi-Fi. Go to Settings Wireless Network WLAN. According to the requirements, we need to create three Wi-Fi for different clients. Click Create New Wireless Network. For the owner, set the SSID and security key and keep other settings by default. For the staff, follow the same procedure, but also enable VLAN and specify VLAN 10 in advanced settings. For the customer Wi-Fi, enable guest network to prevent clients from reaching any private IP subnet. Similarly, enable VLAN and set the VLAN ID as 20. Besides, customize client rate limit profile to limit the download and upload rates. Click Apply to save the settings. Step 6. Set up ACL rules. 
We now have three SSIDs for different clients and assign the staff and customers connected to the Wi-Fi to the corresponding VLANs. However, clients in different VLANs can still access the core network and communicate with each other through the VLAN interfaces. Thus, we also need to configure extra ACL rules for each interface to block the clients from reaching core network and other interfaces to enhance network security. Go to Network Security ACL Gateway ACL. Click Create New Rule. Enter a description to identify the rule and click the checkbox to enable the ACL. Select LAN to LAN for direction. Deny for policy. And all for protocols. Select network for both the source and destination type. Choose one LAN network created in step for as the source network. And the default network and other interfaces as the destination. By doing so, all the clients connected to the specific VLAN interface will be unable to access the core network and other subnets. Click Create and the ACL rule will take effect immediately. The ACL rules for other interfaces can be configured in the same way. Now we have built a complete network for a coffee shop. Let's check the result. We have three different Wi-Fi for the owner, the staff, and customers. The owner can have a full access to the entire network without any limit. The staff can have the internet access without rate limit, but cannot access the core network. Customers can access the internet with rate limit and cannot reach the core network or any private IP subnet. Here is the example of how we build a centralized network by using Festa products and controller. For more details on Festa products and solution, please visit our website.